There's a rumor floating around that the next Shane Dawson docuseries is gonna be with none other than Jake Paul. And in this video, we're gonna ask the question, is Jake Paul going to ruin Shane Dawson? But more importantly, this is about the people that you keep around you in your life and build relationships with. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you improve your mental and emotional well-being. So I'm not a drama channel, I'm not a news channel, I'm not a gossip channel, anything like that. But what I like to do is pull from things going on in the YouTube community as well as pop culture and other situations to try to teach you some lessons about how you can improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I I make so, 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 so many videos, all right? So anyways, I was introduced to Shane Dawson a uh, eh, couple of years ago, my girlfriend who introduced me to like YouTube in general, um, showed me Shane Dawson and my son loved him and I liked watching him and stuff like that. And Shane is such a great person. I've made some videos about how Shane is just one of the best people on YouTube. But like in this video, I want you to kind of see if you can relate to maybe some things that Shane deals with and doesn't realize he's, he does deal with. See if you can relate to this stuff. Because in recent docu-series, like they're amazing by the way, freaking phenomenal. Like Shane, like you're doing a great job. Andrew, uh, his editor and film guy, like just amazing, amazing content. But the subjects of these docu-series we really gotta look at. Like his last one with Jeffree Star, Phenomenal, phenomenal, okay? A lot of people have different opinions about Jeffree Star. People still call him, you know, a racist and things like that. I might do a video on that. For those of you who didn't know, I'm actually half African-American. So I've been thinking about doing a video about that. I just don't know if I could tie it into mental health. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, but the one right before that, uh, before Jeffrey, he did Tana Mojo, and he had a lot of backlash from it, a lot of backlash. And I don't know if part of Shane Mm, enjoys the backlash or if it's a, a bigger issue. So the question that we have to ask ourselves today is, can you be too kind? Can you be too empathetic or even sympathetic? You know what I mean? So these are still rumors, okay? These are still rumors that Shane is going to do his next docuseries on Jake Paul, but there seems to be a lot of evidence about it. The reason you're gonna see more and more of Jake Paul is it appears that he is the focus of the next Shane Dawson documentary series. Now this hasn't been 100% publicly confirmed yet, but just looking at things that exist online, it seems pretty obvious. Back in July, Dawson tweeted that he'd be interested in covering Jake Paul. Jake Paul responded, let's do it. And while Dawson hasn't confirmed that this is about Jake Paul, he tweeted on Saturday, regarding what the series will cover, he said it was supposed to be about a person and then it became about a lot of people and now it's about everyone. You also saw Jake Paul post an unprompted gif of Shane. And finally, you had a member of Jake Paul's team posting an Instagram video where you see Shane at the Team 10 house. So like I said, not publicly confirmed yet, but it seems uh, pretty obvious. So there were some things posted on Instagram and my girlfriend just showed me this picture right here about a mental breakdown Shane said he was having while filming this new docuseries. But Shane goes above and beyond to help people, okay? He does, and that is a great quality, but for so many of us, it's like, we gotta find this balance and we gotta see who we are giving this time, energy, and effort to, right? So something that I asked myself throughout the Tana Mojo docuseries, I'm like, man, like, he loves this girl to a fault. Like, I know Shane says he was being real with her and stuff like that, but here's the thing. There, there's a very fine line, a very thin fine line between supporting somebody and enabling somebody, okay? I am a recovering drug addict and alcoholic with six years sober. And trust me when I say there is a fine line between supporting somebody and enabling somebody. A lot of people who are doing bad things, they don't get help and they don't change until they are cut off from certain people, until they start losing people in their lives, whether it's friends or family members, whatever the case may be, that's what happened to me. Until I started to lose those things, that's when it inspired the change. But I have worked with literally thousands of people where I see the same thing. So with Jake Paul, I don't know if any of you watch, but Nerd City, it's a great channel. I admire the way that guy can edit, but it's a really good channel. He just did a deep dive into Jake Paul and marketing to children. Um, and there's some laws about that, but there's no you know, laws for YouTubers to do that. Really interesting stuff. I'll link it down in the description. Go check it out. Nerd City is amazing. He also did a great video about demonetization of mental health videos. Good guy, good, good, good guy. But anyways, Jake Paul, 
He's not a great person. He is not a great person. And my fear is that Shane trying to empathize and trying to sympathize with the bad guy is going to put Shane in a worse light over time. Now, as we've seen throughout all of the YouTube drama and everything that happens, there's always going to be diehard fans, but Shane is onto something amazing by really you know, uh, unpacking a lot of things and showcasing who these people really are underneath it all. But one of the issues is, as much like any other, you know, YouTube series, is that Jake, for example, will only show us what he wants to show us. He can talk however he wants to talk. He can say what his true motives are, but we don't know if he's going to be telling the truth or not. You know what I mean? And it's just with Shane's, with Shane's, ability to bring light to different situations. I would personally rather see him quit wasting energy on these people who, and it's not even about their huge following, it's about who they are as a person, you know? But like when he did that short series with uh, that young uh, musician, I forgot her name <laughs> off the top of my head, but when he did that series with her, that was phenomenal and I wish he did more things like that. You know, I wish he showed people who were doing a lot of good. I would love to see him, for example, just to show you I'm not biased and I don't think he should only do it with super small unknown people, a great person would be Jacksepticeye. I've been talking a lot about Jacksepticeye lately because of his whole positive mental attitude thing, because he dedicates time and effort into, you know, donating money to charity through his live streams. Like, that is a good person. Like, why don't we go and get inside of Jacksepticeye's head? Why doesn't he bring more attention to this guy who's putting so much good into the world? But when we're looking at people like Tana Mojo and Jake Paul, like, what good are they putting into the world aside from you know, entertainment. But again, going back to Nerd City's video, like for me, for me personally, I don't see it as a good influence for children. And that's their target audience, right? Tana Mojo, the things that she talks about on that channel are not suitable for young children, but her primary demographic is young children. Same thing with Jake Paul, same thing with Jake Paul. But here's the thing. So let's look back at Tana Mojo. Let's see where she's at now. And I will make a more dedicated video about this. But since Tana's documentary with Shane Dawson, she wants to be better. She learned from this and da 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 da. She has done nothing different. Nothing different. The only thing she hasn't done is try to throw another convention. That is literally the only thing, right? Nothing about her personality shows us that she has matured as a woman. None of that stuff, and not just a woman, but as an adult, you know what I mean? So my fear is he's going to do this docuseries with Jake Paul, and we're gonna see, oh, Jake Paul's really like this, but no, he's not gonna change. See, a while back, he actually did um, a video with Gary Vaynerchuk, one of the guys I look up to, right? Gary V is such a great guy, I'm like, oh no, Jake Paul's gonna bring Gary V down. But Gary V just sat there with Jake Paul, and by the way, this was months ago. Months ago, Gary V did this video with Jake Paul. Heck, I'll link that down in the description below. He does this video with Jake Paul, and Gary was just hitting Jake Paul with truth over and over and over. I'm like, that's my boy. That's my boy, Gary V, right? To me, like what I'm feeling right now, is this is the moment more than ever to unmonetize and quadruple down on audience. This was months ago. Jake hasn't done anything. He hasn't done anything different. Like Gary's advice to him was quit worrying about the money so much and reconnect with people. Connect with the fans, connect with these people. You are a, a, an influence to them, you know? Show them what it's like to be uh, you know, a good person. He hasn't done any of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. Here we go with you know Shane giving this guy and yet another opportunity to I don't know manipulate you know the public out there. But anyways, back to the topic of Shane and back to the topic of you. I just want to, you to kind of sit back and say like, do you over sympathize and empathize with people who aren't all that great? Because like something I keep talking about when it comes to building our relationships, we have to cut certain people off. Like you got to get better friends. You got to get better friends. Like I cannot like for example for example. I cannot hang out with somebody who had a terrible childhood, right? Or some traumatic experience, but they keep doing bad things and not learning from it. I can't do that. Like, I feel bad for them. I feel sorry for them, but I cannot keep them in my life because it will bring me down. 
and I'm also enabling them. I'm enabling that person to keep behaving in that way. So I really want you to reflect on this and leave comments down below. Are you somebody who is maybe overly sympathetic? Do you, are you too nice to the bad guy? Like, it's okay to love everybody, but you don't gotta like everybody. You don't gotta keep everybody in that circle, you know? You don't gotta shine a good light on people who aren't all that great. You know what I'm saying? So leave comments down below. Let me know if this is something that you struggle with. I know it's something that I used to struggle with a lot. All right, but that's all I got for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos just to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. If you would like to help me spread a message of hope, make sure you go check out the Patreon page, all right? And we still got some merch available. Boom, click or tap right there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.